everyone, it's time for another episode of Shifting Gears. I'm your host, Janae Brown, and we are on our way to pick up our next athlete. So this week we have Hazel Williams. She is an amazing volleyball player from Fleming Island High School, and we are definitely picking her up in style, courtesy of Tom Bush Automotives. Now you guys, this might be my favorite car that I've ever driven from Tom Bush. Um, we are in the 2025 Mini Countryman S All 4. This car is next level. Now, of course, it has great features like active and dynamic cruise control. We have dynamic stability control. We have heated seats, Apple CarPlay. It has all the goods, okay? But my favorite is the interior. It's just, oh, it's just my dream. The little, um, touch screen is like actually a circle which i've never seen before it's super cool it also has these um really nice accents this blue and um orange like gradient detailing going around the entire car and someone actually told me that it was made out of recyclable items which is really good for not only you but the environment is not only cute but you're helping the planet love that um but yeah i might have to get rid of my little nissan you guys <laughs> i'm just kidding i love my nissan but this car is definitely next level so we are on our way to pick up Hazel right now. So come along for the journey and I will see you all when we get there. Bye. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. Yes. So for the people that don't know who you are, give us like a little synopsis of who you are. My name is Hazel Williams. I go to Fleming Island High School and I play volleyball there and I play volleyball also at JJBA for club. So how did you start playing volleyball? Well, I started playing volleyball in the second grade when we first moved down to Florida. And, you know, at first we started off at the YMCA, then we started playing club. And since then we just kept going with it. So you said you when you first moved to Florida, so where are you from? I'm originally, I was born in Virginia and we lived down there until my dad got stationed in Florida and we moved to Fleming Island we stayed here. Hazel was very outgoing when she was younger, very, fun, like to joke around, extremely playful. Um, that's actually how she got into child acting. Uh, she did some commercials and was on ID Network. Um, other than that, she's just always been kind of fun. She got quieter as she got into high school. I'd say complex, um, but in a good way. Hazel has a lot of goals. She's involved in quite a few things. So aside from being a standout athlete, she's great academically. She's involved in FBLA. She volunteers. So she's complex, but in a very good way. Okay, so my favorite volleyball moment, I have to go with that because I'm living vicariously through her because that was my sport when I was younger, um, is when she got over 800 assists this year in the district finals game. Um, they're not allowed to celebrate it, but I was allowed to have a poster in the stands. And so, you know, as soon as it happened, I was, you know, kind of going nuts and the newspaper took a picture of me. So that's my standout moment because I got kind of to share the moment with her in a sense. <laughs> okay, so what do you do for hobbies when you're not playing volleyball? Well, when I'm not playing volleyball, I'll either maybe go on walks or read books, hang out with friends. I don't really have too many hobbies. Okay, what kind of books do you read? I like romance books. Really? I just love them. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you said that you play club volleyball. Yes. So how's that different than regular volleyball? Well, with club, it's more, I would say it's more serious. Okay. And it's mainly to get seen and develop your skills more in club. Okay. For like scholarship purposes and things yes, like that? Yes, for scholarship okay. purposes. Okay. So you, pay, you play JJVA? Yes, ma'am. Okay, where's that? JJVA. It's, in Jacksonville. Okay. Do you guys travel a lot? Yes, we do. What's like the best place you've been? Um, I would say Kansas City. I oh, love okay. Kansas City. It's very cute down there. Okay. So it's like really competitive? Yes, it is. Interesting. So what position do you play? I'm a setter. Okay. So what is the job of a setter? It's The job of a setter is mainly to, I would say, control the game okay so you, the game doesn't move without you basically yes okay Very so what are some like characteristics that a good setter should have um they should be <laughs> they should be outgoing assertive um confident things like that have you always been a setter 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. So who is your biggest role model? It can be volleyball or just in general. I would say my role models are like some of my teammates, okay. like the older girls on the team. Okay. Because a lot of times like their attitude is like different and they're more experienced than I am. So I kind of look up to how they how they act and move and stuff like that. Is there any like inspiring words that they've told you over the years to help you with your game? Um, not necessarily, but like they're very encouraging and supportive. You can you're gonna turn around. So where are we going right now? We are going to Flemeth Islands volleyball court. Okay, we're gonna do some volleyball drills. Yes, ma'am. Great, cannot wait. My name is Amy Yoder and I am her high school volleyball coach. Um, I started coaching after I graduated college. I played in college and I've just always loved um, the sport. I started coaching over at Bishop Snyder High School, coached there for five years, and then I was welcomed back to Fleming Island High School where I actually attended. Um, and I've been the coach here now. This is my second year. Her strengths, she is a great leader. Um, she is always brings a lot of energy to the court. She is a great teammate. Um, she's always very hardworking and very coachable. Um, whenever I tell her to do something, she fixes it right away, which is a great um, thing to have as a player. Advice, um, always rely on your family, um, rely on your friends, um, just continue to be yourself because she's a great girl. Um, so she will be a junior this upcoming season. I'm really excited because um, she ended her sophomore season um, with 819 assists um, and the school record is 16 and 1663. Um, so we're looking at her breaking the school record within these next few years, which is really exciting. All right, so where are we right now and who do we have with us? We are at Plymouth Island High School in our gym and we have Lauren and Bailey. <laughs> and what are your positions? I am a right side middle. Oh, I'm a libero DS. And you are a setter, right? Yes. So you're going to teach me how to set today. Yes. All right, let's get to it. Okay. So we're going to come over here. And first, before you set, you have to get your hands right. Okay. And basically, you make like the form of a diamond. Okay. And like loosen your hands a little bit to kind of like shape the form of a ball. Okay. And then before we touch the ball, you're going to like be open to your court, the court. Okay. When the ball comes towards you, you're going to come around and face this right, left, right, uh, left, okay. right. And then you bend and you're gonna extend when the ball comes. Okay. Right. Oh, this so, is stressing me out. <laughs> but when the ball does come in your hands, you're gonna come like, like just lift it. You know what I mean? Okay. Like with your wrist. Okay. You show me first, and then I'll do that. Here, I have Bailey toss me a ball. Oh. And you're okay. just gonna push it, and you just gonna okay. push it. You All got right. it. All right. That's easy enough. It's it's yeah. You got okay, it. Okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Here. Ready? Push it. <laughs> yes! Okay. So basically, what you do is you want to put your arms together okay. and you do pancake, pancake, okay. and push <laughs> And you put your hands together like this. Okay. And then you're going to just lift and extend okay. towards your target. And your arms are you, you keep them straight. Okay. Yeah, and keep them off your body too. Okay. So okay. like, Hazel can toss me a ball. And you just extend towards your target. Okay, okay. You want to so try? I guess we could just try to do it in a circle. Sure. Okay. Okay. I feel like something's happening here. <laughs> So for hitting, if you're wanting to run a quick set, which is like a one, you as Bailey, she would pass the ball, you have to have your approach, which is a left, right, left. Okay. So you take your first step, which is your big step, okay. and you take your 
right, left. Okay. And so you can go up. And the, your last two sets are your shortest steps. Okay. So it's uh, left, right, left, up. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Thank you guys so much for this. This is great. Hazel, where are we going to go next? Food? Food time? Food. All right. Nice. This is going. Okay. Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye.